Hey guys, I'm in the freezing Dongbei, China's northeastern region. I've said it once, I've said it twice, I'll say it a billion more times. I love Dongbei food. So this is gonna be a video of me introducing some of my absolute favorite Dongbei dishes. And don't get me wrong, it sounds like I'm doing it for you guys, but I'm really doing this for myself. This is just an excuse for me to eat my weight in Dongbei food. So regardless, I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna start the ball rolling with one of my absolute favorites. This is Dongbei Dai La Pi. And it may seem like a bit of a weird choice considering the weather because this is actually a cold noodle, but it's delicious. So uh, basically it's just this uh, cold noodle on top of all of these vegetables and it's got this sauce on top and then you just go ahead and mix it together. I like this part. <laughs> Mm. I think what makes this dish so good is the sauce. It's surprisingly rich and very nutty in its flavor. It really brings all this together and makes it this really fresh dish. Lots of veg in here. I've got like four cucumbers worth of cucumber in here. Also got some carrot here, got some coriander. Mm. This dish here is one of my veggie faves. It's called Songhua Yun. Um, it's made up of two things, which you can tell by the name of this dish. Songhua is uh, pine nuts, and yumi is corn. Um, so yes, it sounds simple, you know, two ingredients mixed together, but it's unbelievably hearty and delicious and kind of healthy, which is sometimes hard to find in Dongbei with all these like super big and filling dishes. I always order it with a side of rice. I think it goes really nicely together. I just kind of mix the two together and pop it in, you know? I really love the balance of this dish. I find that the saltiness and the sweetness really balance each other out really nicely. I also love the balance of textures in this dish. You've got the pine nuts that are really crunchy and then you've got the bits of the corn which give it this like this chewiness. It's not like the corn you know in the West, which is really sweet and crunchy and you know, bursting with juices. Uh, the, the, the corn that you most often find in China is more, yeah, chewy sensation, um, which I love. Look, I'm generally quite proud of my chopsticks skills, but this is a dish that I would never attempt to eat with chopsticks. Like, ain't no one got time for that. One knuckle, three pieces of corn. You need to scoop it up. You know? One more thing you definitely have to try if you come to Dongbei is chuar or basically meat on sticks. But it's not just meat, you can get like vegetables, tofu, pretty much any variety of food on sticks. And a lot of these, um, these stick meals, to me and to my taste, are a little bit strange. Um, actually on the table here we have some duck tongue. So this is um this is duck tongue. So there's a big bone inside. Oh, it's really hot. It's quite good. This is what? It's a Shanyang, me me me, Shanyang's little brother. <laughs> this is actually the specialty of this restaurant. Sheep balls. I don't think I have the courage to try. Oh, we're not sure. We're not sure. So when it comes to food wrapped in pancakes, Dongbei does it best. You may be familiar with the Peking duck of Beijing, in which they put a duck and some little veggies like cucumber and spring onion and some sauce inside a pancake. You roll it up and you eat it. Um, and so in Dongbei, they've kind of taken it to the next level. And this restaurant is famous for its chunbing or spring pancake. And so it's a similar kind of concept as the Peking duck, except you've got a huge variety of dishes that you can order to put inside the pancake. Um, so when I come to chunbing, I usually like coming with a big group of friends, big group of people, so that on the table, you've got all these different dishes that you can pick and choose, put inside your pancake and have all these different textures and flavors. It's super, super delicious. But since I'm here by myself, I don't want to go and waste a lot of food. So I've ordered my favorite thing to put in the pancake, which is Jingjiang Rou Se. Ah, it's so, so delicious. Um, so what I need to do is get myself a pancake, and I'm just gonna scoop up some of that delicious, saucy meat. 
onto the pancake. You need to get all of the textures in there. Coriander, some lettuce. Super, super good. As I said earlier, it's definitely got a Peking duck vibe, but just bigger, more, and also like a quarter of a Peking duck price. So yeah, in summary, super good dish, super filling, great for all the burrito and Peking duck lovers out there, or just anyone who appreciates good food. I mean, this stuff is the bomb. This dish is called Tia Guo Dun, or translation Iron Pot Stew, and it is the ultimate Dongbei warming winter dish. It's so hearty, so nice and hot. It's like this big hot pot full of all different types of ingredients, um, but just got that signature really strong Dongbei taste. And you eat it with these little, little, uh, almost little bread things. Manhole, Let's give it a taste. It's so good. It's probably the most warming thing you could have here in Dongbei. It's not, I'm not feeling any spiciness. I'm feeling more of like a pepperiness and a real richness. One thing you need to know about Dongbei is that the servings are massive. Um, and this is one of those dishes that you just can't come by yourself and eat. So I've specifically decided to wait for a friend so I can come together and eat it together because it would just be such a waste of food. Every dish that I've had in Dongbei so far has been absolutely huge. Serving sizes are next level. I think if I was to stay in Dongbei for much longer, I'd come back a circle. It's my last day in Dongbei and I got one of my absolute favorite Dongbei dishes delivered to my room. This is the dish that's gonna be responsible for my gradual descent into obesity. I've had like five servings of this in the last two weeks. It's so, so good. It's called Guo Bao Rou. Oh. And it is deep fried, crunchy, sweet, meaty goodness. Um, I feel like this dish would appeal to a lot of people. To be honest with you, ideally you shouldn't be ordering this takeaway because you'll lose a lot of the crunch in the delivery time. Um, the best part about Guobaro for me is the crunch, but right now I don't think there's gonna be a crunch. Only a mini crunch. That's actually my last meal I'm gonna be having in Dongbei. Yeah, the last few weeks have been very, very fruitful in terms of eating here in Dongbei. I have enjoyed every single meal I've had. Um, I hope that when you guys come to Dongbei one day that you'll branch out, try some new things, and now maybe you know some new dishes to try. I will see you next time. Bye.